Let's look at this 2025 jam physics question on finding equivalent resistance. The question here says, what is the equivalent resistance of the circuit given that each resistor has a magnitude of 10 ohms? Okay, so they are saying you have this diagram here. And in this diagram, as you can see, we have about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are about six resistors in this question or in this particular circuit. And they said each of them have a magnitude or a numerical value of six ohms for each of the resistors. And you're asked to find the equivalent resistance of this particular circuit. So how do you solve this question? Now, we've already treated this particular kind of concept in a previous class under equivalent resistance. I'll leave a link to a class on finding equivalent resistance in the video description now to this question how do you solve this question when it comes to diagrams of this nature what we use is called the circuit reduction technique all right that's what we use all right so i'll come down here solution um solution so the technique we employ in this kind of question is to use a circuit reduction concept I've treated that also in a previous class. I'll leave a link in the video description. All right. So you can check out that video by following the link in the video description. Now, how do we solve this? When it comes to using circuit reduction technique, the idea is to start from the closed end and move towards the open end. All right. Don't forget, we are starting from the closed end and we are moving towards the open end. In this question here, this particular end, this side here, let's call this A, and A is called the closed end, while this part here, and B, that has this space, is called the opened end, all right? So, and A is called the closed end, while and B is called the open end. So, that's how we solve, um, that's how we approach this question. All right, that's the first thing. Now, starting from the closed end, which is the part by the right, this side here, would label, let's label each of the resistors um, from one to the last one. So we'll call this resistor one, all right? We'll call this resistor two. We'll call this resistor three. We'll call this resistor four. We'll call this resistor five. And we'll call this resistor six, okay? Now the first thing to observe is that resistor one, two, and three are in series. Why are they in series? Because they're connected, the end of resistor one is connected to the end of resistor two and the end of resistor two is connected to the end of resistor three so it's called an end-to-end -end connection in essence we can say resistor one two and three so solution would we'll say resistor resistor one two and three are in series Therefore, so let's get the equivalence. Therefore, their equivalent is given by let's call it R123. So R123 simply means the equivalent of resistor 1, 2, and 3. And since they are in series, the formula we use is simply R1 plus R2 plus R3. That's all, okay? For R1, we said the value is 10 ohms. So I have 10 plus R2 is 10 ohms plus R3 is 10 ohms. So each of them, so each of them has a magnitude of 10 ohms. So we can say R1, 2, and 3 is equal to 30 ohms. All right. So with this, we found the equivalent of resistors 1, 2, and 3. Okay. Now, coming back to the question, here's how you impute that value into this question. When you find the equivalent for 1, so this 1 goes off, 2, 2 also goes off. So here becomes this, and then you have this. Uh, 1 and 3 goes off. Also, 2 also goes off. So this particular resistor here also goes off because I found the equivalent. Note that the equivalent of 1, 2, and 3 will take this position, this one here. So please note that for this kind of circuit, okay? That means this becomes the position of arrow 1, 
two and three so when one two and three combine it will take up this position please note this for this kind of questions now what do you see next there observe that arrow one two three and arrow four are in parallel all right they have a parallel connection so i'll write down i'll say the i'll say arrow one two three and arrow four are in parallel also also arrow one two three and arrow four are in parallel all right you can see there now when equip when resistors are in parallel you take their inverse that means the equivalent of arrow one two three and arrow four will be given by one all over arrow one two three four this simply means the equivalent resistance of arrow one two three and four and that will be equal to one all over arrow one two three plus the one they are in parallel with which is one over arrow four all right this is how you approach this Let's impute values. This becomes 1 all over arrow 1, 2, 3, 4. It's equal to 1 all over arrow 1, 2, 3. We got the value here as 30 ohms. That becomes 30 plus 1 all over arrow 4 is this one here. The one we labeled 4, which is this one here. And of course, remember that we said from the question, each of them is what there? 10 ohms. Right, so the value of arrow 4 is simply 10 ohms. So perhaps I could write this as arrow 4 is equal to arrow 5 is equal to arrow 6. And they all have a value of or a magnitude of 10 ohms as indicated in the question. So this is equal to 1 over 30 plus 1 all over 10. All right. Let's work on this. This is equal to 1 all over arrow 1, 2, 3, 4 is equal to, if I take LCM here, LCM is 30. 30 divided by 30 is 1. 1 times the numerator there. 1 times 1 gives you 1 plus 30 divided by 10. That gives you 3. Use 3 to multiply numerator. That becomes 3 times 1, which is what there? 3. So I have 3 here. Let's proceed from here. This will be equal to 1 plus 3 is 4 all over 30. Reduce this to the lowest term. 2 here, 2, right? 2 cancels 30, I have 15. So that's equal to 2 over 15, right? So we can say that 1 all over arrow 1, 2, 3, 4. It's equal to 2 over 15. If I want to get the value of R1234, I'll simply invert this. I'll take this one to the numerator and bring the one down there to the denominator. So it becomes R1234 all over 1 is equal to also I'll take 15 up the numerator, bring 2 down. It's called inversion, right? So it becomes 15 up all over 2 down. And from here we can see that simply i have that arrow one two three four it's equal to 15 over 2 ohm which you can say is equal to 7.5 ohms all right but i'm not done yet so with this what would the diagram look like so i've combined the value of arrow one two three that's this and arrow four in parallel and i got my answer so if I do that, this one goes off. So R123 goes off. So this man is off. So I'll take this off. And also from here too. Also R04 goes off. Now when you combine that two, the value of R1234 will now be here. Alright, so it takes up this position. Alright, so please note how this thing works. Now looking at this, we can see that R1234 is connected end to end. You can see here with arrow 5 as well as end to end with arrow 6. What does it mean? It means they are in series. So I can write that arrow 1, 2, 3, 4, that's the equivalent resistance of arrow 1, 2, 3, 4, and arrow 5 and arrow 6 are in series. Observe that if I finish this calculation for 1, 2, 3, that will be all for the diagram. In essence, the resistance of arrow 1234 
combined with RU5 and RU6 becomes RUEQ and not just RU1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Why am I using RUEQ? Because that's a final step. All right, so you keep on adding this one, two, three, four when you've not reached your final step. But once you get to your final step, then just use arrow EQ. That's the concept. All right, all right, guys. So let's let's get the value of arrow EQ. So since if I combine this and this and this, that's literally all the resistors in this circuit. So I can say I'm done. So hence, let's impute values. So I'll now say arrow one, two, three, four. RU5 and RU6 are in series. All right, let me take that one down. Also, also, RU1, 2, 3, 4, which is the resistance of resistor 1, 2, 3, and 4, is in series with, with RU5 and R6, all right? Therefore, so therefore, their resistance, therefore, their resistance, or their equivalent resistance, please. Therefore, their equivalent resistance, I said we'll call it REQ because that's a final step. Arrow EQ will be equal to arrow one, two, three, four plus arrow five plus arrow six. So know when to use um, the normal plus, know when to add them up, and know when to use inverse. We use inverse when we are working with what there yeah? parallel connection, but when they are in series, we just add them straight, as you can see here. Let's impute values. This is equal to what's the value of R1234 again? 15 over 2. So it becomes equal to um, this is 15 over 2 for R1234 plus 10 for R5 plus 10 for R6. Let's solve this simple fraction. What do we have? I'm just going to divide this and then start from the top. My LCM here, so REQ, it's equal to. My LCM here is 2, obviously. So the LCM here is 2. All right, so 2 because here would be over 1. Here would be over 1. So LCM is 2. 2 divided by 2 here gives you 1. 1 times numerator. That's 1 times 15 gives you 15. So I have 15 first. The sign there is plus. Next up, 2 divided by this one here. 2 divided by 1 gives you 2. Use that to, to multiply this 10. 2 times 10 is 20. So plus 20. Again, plus. Next up, 2 divided by, for the third fraction, 2 divided by 1 gives you 2. 2 times 10 gives you 20. All right? So I have 20 there. I'll simply come here and add 20. All right? Let's impute values. 10 plus 20 plus 20 gives you 55. All over 2. So R EQ is equal to 55 over 2 ohms. All right. Would want to use a calculator. If you use calculator and punch 55 over 2, you get your answer as 27.5. So this is equal to 27.5 ohms, and that becomes the answer to this particular question. Okay. All right, guys, so let me give you a task. So for this same question, now recall that for the initial question, you are giving, um, let me redraw the diagram there. So I'll just quickly redraw the diagram and let's see what we can get. All right, guys, so back to the same question. So take each of the resistors in this diagram as being equal to 5 ohms, all right? Take each of them as 5 ohms. What would be the equivalent resistance of this particular circuit? Solve it and leave your answer in the comment section. As I said earlier, I've already discussed the concept of circuit reduction and equivalent resistance addition, both in series and parallel, in our previous class. I'll leave a link to that video in the video description. So check the description for the link to our previous class on resistors. All right. Okay, guys, don't forget that you can get my courses and my books on my website. 
Simply visit www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses to check out any of the available courses or visit www.jonahimano.com forward slash books to gain access to any of the available books. Do want to register an account to the website and then proceed to get the available courses or books. Don't forget that you can also join my channel membership to get access to exclusive content for channel members. I'll leave a link to join our channel membership in the video description, alright? Okay guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, right? Like this video, leave a comment also. For the comment, I've given you a task, alright? This same diagram here, I said take each of the resistance as being, take each of the resistors as being 5 ohms, follow the same step, calculate the equivalent resistance and leave your answer in the comment section and I'll tell you if you're correct or not. Don't forget to also subscribe. If it's your first time here or you're yet to subscribe, please do well to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon and select all so that you get notified whenever we upload new content. And finally, do well to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.